young veterans today, as we always should. But uh, there's a live look at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, where it's raining today, but everybody's out there, and the Vice President will be out there to honor the Unknown Tomb as well. So there is a new book by one Arizona-based author highlighting the history behind the unique antiques made and used by U.S. Civil War soldiers to show what the country was experiencing at that time. So this morning, it's really fascinating. We're joined by Dane Calvin, author of Folk Art of the Civil War. So, Dane, good morning to you. Good morning. You were just Howdy. saying you're good friends with Jamie's father, Jamie yeah. Serretta's father. Yes. Duck yeah. hunting together. So oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, um, so your mom's side was out of Tennessee and your father's other side out of Kansas, right. where I'm from, so that you have a great history there. Really interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, the uh, interest in uh, I acquired some family artifacts uh, years ago, uh -huh. so it, that's how I gained the interest, uh, and so uh, I utilized these uh, historic artifacts that I've collected over the years uh -huh. to kind of tell the story about what this country endured. Uh -huh. during the 1860s, during the Civil War. What was your, everybody was lost except for your great-grandfather, right? Uh, yes, uh, on my war. father's side. Well, actually, at my mother's side, uh, the uh, Confederate veteran, uh, he survived the war, but apparently had a lot of post-traumatic stress syndrome okay. issues, which, of course, were undiagnosed at the time, right. uh, while on the father's side only the out of the three family members only the great grandfather survived the war okay what would they think of the book you think well i think they would uh, be happy that and i did this book kind of dedicated right. uh, to civil war veterans i think they would appreciate the effort really but, nice why don't you show us some of these artifacts well yeah we have some interesting things uh, to the right here this is probably the most rare of the uh, artifacts here this is actually a uh Confederate secession flag banner. Really? Most likely made in about 1861 okay. at the start of the war. The uh, textile uh, reflects 11 stars for the 11 formerly seceding southern states. Wow. And it was made in uh, South Carolina, and this would have been the banner that the town's ladies would have displayed on the side of a building or waved to okay. send the boys off to it's, war. It's got a couple rips, but that's an amazing uh, condition. Yeah. Well, it wasn't carried through the war, but it was to send the boys off to okay. war, so it was, right. didn't endure as much as some flags. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about the, these items? Well, yeah, this uh, particular it document uh, box rather is a uh, Union... Uh, uh, Doc, a box which was a document box most likely used in the uh, Union Veterans Hall and what you have on it are ivory cutouts okay. of the what were the Union Corps badges or divisions of the Army of the of the Union okay. uh, during the war. And what about those horns? Well the powder horns this was the family uh, Confederate powder horn I don't know if you can get a close-up or not of what's displayed on there but it depicts the one family member who was a Confederate soldier when he was captured uh, in 1863 at the Battle of Tullahoma in Tennessee. Okay. So this went through the family, while this other one is a uh, naval uh, soldier's powder horn out of a Union regiment. Uh, and uh, so the usually the naval, navies were small compared to artillery and uh, uh, infantry units, so it's kind of a rare New York uh, piece. Okay, so these are, pieces are amazing. There, there is the book. You've got a book signing tomorrow. Where? Uh, it's going to be at the Mesa Militaria Show, okay. which is uh, starting uh, at nine o'clock to three o'clock p.m. at uh, Highway 60 and Country Club Road in the Mesa. In there? Yes, at yeah. the Holiday okay. Inn. Well, Dane, thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're it. very welcome. Gosh, uh, yeah, it's an honor you. to see all this stuff and oh. hear about your family history. Well, thank you. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thanks.